I'm Chris Rushlow from the FAA's Office of Aviation Safety. You know, the traveling public expects aviation to be the safest mode of transportation around the world. And the FAA's International Aviation Safety Assessment Program, called IASA, is one of its proven long-standing methods to make sure those expectations are met. Through this shared commitment among the FAA and civil aviation authorities around the world, the IASA program helps identify areas to strengthen aviation safety oversight and to meet ICAO standards. Our work is focused on countries who have air operators that serve the United States or where a U.S. operator partners with an international operator. This program is just one way we create and strengthen global relationships in order to keep aviation at the highest levels of safety. We hope you find the following overview helpful in providing a better understanding of the IASA program. Thank you. To understand the International Aviation Safety Assessment Program, or IASA, we have to turn back the clock, first to 1944, Chicago, where the Convention on International Civil Aviation established the ICAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization, a specialized agency of the United Nations in charge of coordinating international travel. Now, a bit of a jump to 1992, the year the FAA's IASA program was established. At that time, greater focus was placed on foreign air carrier safety oversight and as code shares and alliances were formed with U.S. air carriers. As these relationships were formed, the FAA wanted to ensure aviation safety kept pace and remained strong. The IASA program was formally established in the Federal Register August 24, 1992. With the purpose of ensuring that all foreign air carriers operating to or from the U.S. or code sharing with a U.S. carrier are properly certificated and subject to safety oversight provided by a competent civil aviation authority in accordance with ICAO standards. It is with that clear purpose the U.S. works with countries whose air carriers seek to or operate in the U.S. Throughout the IASA process, we recognize our shared commitment to strengthen aviation safety oversight to comply with ICAO standards, and of course, meet the safety expectations of the flying public. In this regard, the FAA values its engagement with the country's Civil Aviation Authority. Before, during, and after, the FAA regularly communicates issues it identifies and works with the country on how to address those issues. The FAA normally utilizes a four-person IASA team to conduct an initial assessment or reassessment consisting of a team lead, an operations inspector, an airworthiness inspector, and an attorney. Teams assess a country's ability to adhere to ICAO safety standards. Specifically, there are eight critical elements of a safety oversight system as they relate to ICAO Annexes 1, 6, and continuing airworthiness of Annex 8. personnel licensing, operation of aircraft, and continuing airworthiness of aircraft. The IASA teams check anything from availability of training centers to ensure qualified and trained personnel, access to technical guidance and resources, and how a country resolves safety concerns. In total, there are over 30 questions and checks that correspond to an ICAO standard and recommended practices. This ICAO checklist is available to the public on the FAA's website. The IASA teams assess each country as to how they fit into one of two categories. Category 1, do they comply with ICAO standards for oversight? Or Category 2, the country does not comply with ICAO standards for oversight. A country's assessed category is then made public. However, if a country already has a Category 1 with established service to the U.S. and it is reassessed as a Category 2, then some mitigations are put in place. First, their level of service to the U.S. would be frozen. Second, code-sharing with another U.S. airline would only be permitted one way. No U.S. carrier codes will be allowed on foreign carriers. Through the implementation of the IASA program, the FAA has seen tangible improvements in the level of international aviation safety oversight. Overall, the IASA program contributes to a larger global aviation safety system through engagements, education, and accountability.
When the IASA program first began, the FAA determined that over 66% of assessed countries with operators seeking U.S. service did not meet ICAO standards. Now, 90% of countries with an IASA rating are Category 1. That improvement is something the global aviation community can be proud of. Suffice it to say, as the IASA program continues, the FAA's goal is to bring the percentage of countries with a Category 1 rating even higher, allowing for greater levels of safety. The FAA also seeks to create or enhance lasting relationships among civil aviation authorities and strengthen our collective safety mission. For more information about the IASA program, including category results of countries, please visit www.faa.gov. Thank you.